Hi there, everybody. It's Richard McMunn here from the career guidance company HowToBecome.com, and I've created a fantastic new mechanical comprehension test video for you. Um, I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself um, straight off the bat. Give them a go. There's a timer for each question. See how you get on. Some of them are relatively easy. Some are some of them are a lot tougher. And then at the end, I'm going to give you the answers and explanation. So the rules of the mechanical comprehension test are as follows. You have just 12 seconds to answer each question that follows. So you've got to work really quickly. Put yourself under a bit of pressure. That's the only way you will improve. There are 10 questions in total. So it's not going to take you that long to work through it. Um, Answers and explanations, as I mentioned, will be provided. So I'll give you the answer and the explanation so that you learn as you go. If you disagree with any of them, please put your, your comments and thoughts in the questions below the video. Please work through the test from beginning to end. So give it a go. Like I say, it won't take you that long. And good luck. OK, let's get straight into it. If you, if you want to put your answer to the questions um, below the video in the comments section, please feel free to do so. But like I say, I'll give you the answers at the end. Okay, let's get into it. You have got a timer on each page which will tick down. Once it's finished, I'll move on to the next question. So you've got 12 seconds each one. Here we go. Question one, which load is the lightest? A or B, both the same. Okay, so question one, which load is the lightest? Load A, load B, or both the same? Question number two, at which point would it be easier to haul up load X, A, both the same, B, point A, C, point B? And you got just 12 seconds, that's going down. Okay, moving on now to question number three. In the following cog and belt system, which cog will rotate the least number of times in 50 minutes is it A, cog A, B, cog B, or C, both the same? So which cog will rotate the least number of times in 50 minutes? A, B, or both the same? Okay, next one. Question number four. If wheel B moves anti-clockwise at a speed of 100 revolutions per minute, how will wheel D move and at what speed? A, clockwise faster, B, clockwise slower, C, anti-clockwise faster, or D, anti-clockwise slower. So A, B, C, or D. Okay, we are approaching halfway through the test now. Hope you're still with me. Question number five. If cog A turns anti-clockwise as indicated so you can see there cog a is shown as going anti-clockwise which way will cog c turn is it a clockwise b anti-clockwise or c backwards and forwards off you go So that's question five, halfway through the test complete. I hope you're still with me. Question number six. On the weighing scales, which is the heaviest load? Load A, load B, or C, both the same? Moving on to question number seven. How much force is required to lift that 75 kilogram weight? Is it A, 15 kilograms, B, 37.5 kilograms, C, 75 kilograms, or D, 150 kilograms? So how much force is required to lift that 75 kilogram weight? Okay, you're doing great. Question number eight. Slightly harder now. Question eight. Cog A, the one on the left, has 12 teeth and cog B has 18 teeth. If cog B completes two full turns, how many rotations will cog A complete? Is it A, three rotations, B, two rotations, C, 1.5 rotations, or D, one rotation only? And there's a timer going down.
OK, moving on to question nine. Which direction should the wind blow in order for the plane to take off with the shortest runway? Is it A or B? So which direction should the wind blow in order for the plane to take off with the shortest runway? Question number 10. How much weight in kilograms will, will you need to be added in order to balance the beam? So how much weight in kilograms will need to be added in order to balance the beam? Is it A, 10 kilograms, B, 20 kilograms, C, 40 kilograms, or D, 80 kilograms? So the weight will go here on the right. Don't forget to look at the distances, 2 metres and 4 metres. The clock's ticking down. Off you go. OK, if you stuck with me and you've got to question 10, well done. I'm going to come on to the answers now. Um, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up if you'd like this test so far. I'm now going to give you the answers and explanations. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. Um, if you found it difficult, um, please do let me know or whether you found it easy, put it in the comments section below. Let's get straight into the answers. Question 1. Which load is the lightest? OK, and it is load A. Load A is the lightest. Now, just because it is larger in size than load B doesn't mean it is heavier. Now, the clue is in the way the loads are distributed across the fulcrum point here, across the seesaw. B is pushing down, which means that load B, sorry, load A is the lightest. So B is heavier than A, so load A is the lightest. OK, so I hope you got that one right. Let me know in the comments section if you did. Question number two. At which point would it be easier to haul up load X? So load X is here. Is it easier at point A or point B? Well, it's actually easier. The answer is C, point B. Now, the explanation is the mechanical advantage at point B is 2. Therefore, it will be easier to haul the load up at point B than at point A, which will be less than 2. Mechanical advantage. OK. Question number 3. And by the way, if you're struggling with mechanical advantages, um, hang on until the end of the video because I'll tell you where you can get a free mechanical comprehension test guide that will explain all about mechanical advantage. Question number three. In the following cog and belt system, which cog will rotate the least number of times in 50 minutes? Is it A, cog A, B, cog B or C, both the same? Well, the answer is cog A. And the explanation is the largest cog will always rotate the least number of times in any given time frame. doesn't matter whether it's 10 minutes, 50 minutes or 50 hours. And also, conversely, the smallest cog will rotate the most time. So always remember that. Question number four. If wheel B, the large one on the left, moves anti-clockwise, which is that way, at a speed of 100 revolutions per minute, how will wheel D, the smallest one on the right-hand side, move and at what speed? Well, the correct answer is anti-clockwise faster. So if one cog rotates anti-clockwise, which B is, that means that all of them will rotate anti-clockwise. Um, now, because cog D is smaller in size, it will therefore rotate faster. So the answer is C, anti-clockwise faster. Question number five. If cog A turns anti-clockwise... So obviously anti-clockwise is against the way a clock would normally go. So clockwise is the way the hands on a clock would go to the right. Um, anti-clockwise is round to the left. So if cog A turns anti-clockwise, which way will cog C turn? Well, the answer is anti-clockwise. Because cog A is turning anti-clockwise, which means a central large cog rotates clockwise. Therefore, C rotates anti-clockwise. Question six, on the weighing scales, which is the heaviest load? So how many of you put A? Well, the correct answer is they are both the same, C. Now, the weighing scales are level. Therefore, the weights must be equal regardless of the size. And always look out for that in mechanical comprehension tests. OK, it's sort of like trick questions because most people go, well, um, the one that's heaviest is A because it's the largest. And it's not necessarily the case. Question number seven, this is a difficult one. How much force is required to lift that load, to lift the weight? OK, the answer is 37.5 kilograms. If you got that one correct, please put it in the comments section below because you've done really well. Most people will get that wrong. Now, the explanation is this type of pulley system has a mechanical advantage of two. Therefore, to lift the 75 kilogram weight, 
it requires 75 kilograms divided by 2 equals 37.5 kilograms. Like I mentioned earlier before, I'm going to tell you in a minute where you can get a free mechanical concepts guide that will teach you all about um, how to pass mechanical advantage test questions. Now this is a tough one again, question 8. Cog A has 12 teeth and Cog B, the larger one, has 18. If Cog B completes two full turns, how many rotations will Cog A complete? And the correct answer is three rotations. So each full turn of Cog B will result will result in 18 teeth divided by 12 teeth equals 1.5 rotations. So two turns of Cog B will result in Cog A completing three rotations. Question number nine, which direction should the wind blow in order for the plane to take off with the shortest runway? Well, the answer is A. Now, in order for the plane to take off with the shortest runway, the aircraft requires a headwind. So it needs to be going into the head, into the headwind. You'll notice that um, at a lot of air, at airports, wherever they are, the pilots will always try and take off into the headwind. That's why you have one of those like wind socks. They're usually orange and it will tell the pilots which way they're blowing. And they always try and take off into a headwind because that creates lift. OK, number 10, a difficult one. How much weight in kilograms will be needed? Sorry, will need to be added in order to balance the beam. So some people would have put B, 20 kilograms. But there is a trick here. Um, if you look there, there's two meters difference there, but four. And how many of you put the answer as 40 kilograms? If you did be really honest, put it in the comment section below. But the correct answer is actually A, which is 10 kilograms. Now, the distance of the weights from the fulcrum and balance point is double. So it's two meters there and it's four meters there. Therefore, the weight required to balance should be halved. So the correct answer is 10 kilograms. I hope you got that right. If you did, well done. OK, do you want that free guide that I mentioned about how to pass mechanical comprehension tests? Um, click the link below this video to get your free guide. OK, it's a PDF download, so you can have it literally within one minute's time and start practicing. It looks like that. Loads of mechanical comprehension tests, introduction pack in there. Loads of sample questions as well. Just click the link directly below the video. Like I said, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate um, that, guys. Spend a lot of time creating these videos, and I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, say hi in the comment section below what you thought about the test questions and how you particularly got on, how many you got out of 10. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you very much for watching.